Previously on what's left of a tip tank build, I made some jacks to hold it up, fitted my elaborate oversize a proportion handmade seat and sat in it properly for the first time. Now the seat could have done with a tiny bit more angle, but I think I can sort of rectify that with strategically placed and made cushion in the seat. So you can sort of get the back out a little bit more and obviously want to hump where my legs are because it's just flat on the bottom. If worse come to it, I could lean it a little bit. So the next thing I need to do is something about my feet. Although they do fit in a nose cone and I'm actually sat in here quite comfy, it is a little bit tight and they're a bit pointed. Now it has been suggested about using um, disability, what do you call them, paddles or whatever, you know, so, so it's on the steering wheel. And I'm not against it and I'm not written that off yet, that's still on the table. But I sort of want to try and get a pedal box in, just to try. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work and, you know, there's other things we can do. But I still want to try it, just to see if it's possible. Now, either way, no matter what way I go, I'll need some sort of footrest. And believe it or not, there is actually quite a bit of width in here and actually quite a bit of depth. Now, because I've used quite a big box for this, there's no reason I can't cut it out and rebrace it. So I'm thinking, because it comes up at an angle, I can slice into it and bring a pedal board up, or just a board if it come to it, and we can bring some pedals off it. If not, it'd just be a foot plate. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mark where my feet are, and then cut, slice this out, brace it up, and then build a nice plate. Obviously, it's gonna need, I will eventually put some steel hoops in. It's gonna need some hoops in here for strength and to mount steering rack on and obviously our front suspension coming out each side is going to have to be braced off of somewhere but that's a little bit later down the line because we'll get comfortable in the car and then sort of build around me so i know that i can get in it and drive it now i know lots of people are saying why don't you just make the tank bigger i get you i understand completely the seat is too big the tank is too small but that's all part of it is about trying to engineer something and design something that sort of shouldn't work. It'd be too easy to just cut it and make it bigger. This is just about engineering something stupid. So the hardest bit now is going to be marking where my feet go in a comfortable position and then working out where to cut and weld. So I've put a bit of cushion in where I think it sort of needs it in the seat and that does help quite a bit actually. There's a bit under my legs and a bit behind my back. Makes it a little bit more comfortable. So I think my legs probably want to be about there. I'm gonna have to build a bubble, like I said, but that sort of feels about right. So I just need to mark out about where my feet are, although I've got my boots on now. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. And I did bring my tape measure. I reckon it's about 500 mil from my line. See my strategic cushion in? And I think, Mark my line out here, I'll come square down and then we'll come off at an angle. So we got a bit of float for our feet at an angle and then we'll try and take it out level. So we're gonna come across like that and then up like that. So we'll chop that section out and then build a nice plate inside. And then we've obviously got a fair bit wider down there so we can probably go a couple of inches wider each side as well. So that'd be good. Well, let's strip it apart again. Okay then, now it's on the bench, let's mark this out and chop it out. One big hole. So now we want to take some of our 2.5 mil steel plate cut a piece out for my feet to sit on and weld it in. I'm not sure I'm big to make this bit yet. So I might cut this piece out, tack it on, pull it back in and then see what it looks like. There's gonna be a lot of in and out over there, isn't there? There we go. You just gotta weld that to that. That's tacked on. 
I suppose I better try it out before guessing the next bit. Well, it fits. Let's cut the next bit and weld that in. Let's strip it apart again. I've got to cut this piece now. I'll probably come up a little bit higher. Something like that. Oh dear, it's not getting any lighter. Right, where was I? People keep showing up what in actual work done. I mean, don't they know I'm trying to build a race car here? Um, oh yeah, I was gonna weld this on, wasn't I? And then do the other bit. So let's weld that. Um, there. Ah! Oh. Oops, on. You know what's funny? I'm right-handed, but every now and then I'll left-hand weld. And sometimes it's like the best welding you've ever seen in your life. And then other times it's like the worst welding in the history of the world. There is no logic to it. So next you need to cut out this piece here, which will be the back plate for the pedals, wouldn't it? So that's set up in there like that, something. I don't want to come too high because in this tiny massive area I have, I'm gonna to have to somehow potentially fit some sort of steering rack. So that should be easy. And then, now we know I've taken a big slot out of this, so obviously it's gonna be a lot weaker than it was originally. So once I've got this bit in and I've made our pedal box, which is next after, I then put some sort of web in there to bring the strength back in. It'll all be welded together as well, but you know, extra strength always helps. There! My old faithful daily diesels started playing up this week. Look at the state of that diesel filter. And that's what it should look like. That's less than a year old. The air filter ain't much better either. I guess that's what you get for buying cheap supermarket fuel though. I swear it's getting worse. Leak off return valve was broken as well. I thought I might as well do the inlet and rocker gasket while I'm here because they were a little bit leaky. But look at that for an engine. 170,000 mile that's got. I haven't cleaned that yet. That is spot on. It does go to show, doesn't it? Regular oil changes in servicing does make a massive difference. That's all welded on there now. Next, I want to start making the pedals. And I've had a little thought and I've done a bit of a drawing and come up with an idea which I hope will work. So what I want to do, I know this barb looks a bit rough, but it's actually a good quality bit of steel that is dress this up, split it into four or five pieces, however many it was, and then drill all the way through, and then weld the different pieces on where I want them, and then have two is pivot. So a bit, a bit like a door hinge, if you can sort of picture what I mean. And then the bolts will go through, and that'll just hold it all together to stop it falling apart. And then you can just, they'll pivot like that, the, the pedals, and I'll make some pedals, so. I just need to make a pivot first, so I'm saying I'm going to make a pivot and I'll have all the bushes and I can weld the pedals to the bushes. So here's my drawing if it makes any sense to you. So this is our bar that we've got and then um, we'll cut it, we'll stick it in a lathe, trim it all up, drill a big hole all the way through the middle and the middle section will have a thread for the bolts and the bolts will go through here and here and then we'll have a bush each end and then pivot point for our pedal so we'll weld the pedal to this piece and this piece and then we'll weld these three pieces to the chassis and then in theory we've got a pivot first just gonna get this rough piece of bar in the lathe clean it all up and make it look pretty oh and um, these bolts I got these are aerospace grade 3 8 UNF bolts so they're high tensile so they're really strong good quality they're actually cadmium plated 12 point heads they should be perfect for the job. Probably a bit overkill, but you know. Speaking of bolts, I have been making some bottle openers out of these big old aerospace countersunk bolts. They're big skin bolts. I had a batch of them. They can't be reused in an aircraft because of reasons. So I thought, oh, they'd make some pretty cool bottle openers, wouldn't they? They are available on our website, so get yourself one while they last. 
Also, big thanks again to everyone for liking, subscribing, and watching. Um, been lots of comments again, some brilliant stuff. Really appreciate everything everyone's been writing. I've done my best to reply. Thanks to everyone who's been buying stuff as well. Again, a little um, aircraft bolt watch stands have been really popular. Um, and lots of t-shirt sales and all sorts of other little bits and pieces. So I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. Let's get this in the lathe and make it look pretty then. So these are the bushes for the pedals. So it's going to open them out to 2364 before I read them 38, which would be for our bolt pin things. Perfect fit. Right, that's those two bits done to hold the pedals. So I need to machine this piece out now to hold the thread to bolt something too. So we'll make that out of this bit. There, and just these two external bushes to make now, and then we can weld it all on. Just like that. So now, you just have to do this up and then weld it onto our foot plate. Just about there, somewhere. There it is sat in our foot plate now. I've nipped the two bolts up so it's all nipped together, and I'm just gonna weld these three pieces on. And then I should be able to take these two out and then maybe give it a little bit of clearance after. And then we can start making some pedals. Here we have it. Just gotta let this cool down now. Hopefully I can get these two bushes out and then start making some pedals. Okay, I've stripped all that now. So it's looking good. See, so I've got this little bolt together and then this is sitting there with some grease on it and our pedals will go like that. We need to make a pedal. I'm going to have to weld that on there. Well, that was a little bit long. I'm not sure how long to make it. I can always make it smaller, can't I? So I'm going to make it long for now. Eventually, obviously, I'll make some proper pads for it and stuff, but I don't know where the pads are. They might want to sit slightly offset depending on where the lever, you know, the, the master cylinder goes and the throttle cable and all that sort of stuff. So get these on here and then work out the other stuff later down the line. Logic says I should measure my foot, preferably without my boots on. About 275 mil. Now we can allow for the pad to sit on it, which can obviously overhang and stuff. But I can also make them shorter if I need to. So I'm gonna just make it a nice round 200 mil. I don't know why, but let's go with that. Still waiting on the damn glow plugs for that thing, as that would drive me mad having it in here. So now, I need to notch that in there, don't I? To make it look pretty. Can't just weld it like that. So let's see if I have the right size mill. That looks pretty good. I mean, I could just grind it, but where is the fun in that? Let's stick it in here. And then, just mill the end. Just make sure it's square to the chuck, for obvious reasons. And then, just munch away at it. I know that's not really what this cutter's for, but it should be okay on this. Whoa, look at that. 
Just give them a clean up and weld them all together now. That should do. So before we pull it all together and go for a drive, I just want to make a little web to sit in there. Just, it, it probably don't need it, but just to give it a little bit of extra strength. I'm going to cut this piece out to fit in there and then weld it in. Just got to weld that one there now. But I'll finish my mince pie first. I really need to get a new mug. Okay then, let's put this all together. Try it out. Just a smidge in the grease to help slip it in there. There we go. I know it doesn't have any springs or anything and it's just a lever like that, but you know, it's a good start, isn't it? They can obviously make the pads whatever shape and size, so they probably want to be offset a little bit so your feet can sort of, you know, but we're getting there, aren't we? So I think I need to put it back in the tank now and try it. I am running out of space. Oops. Oh, that was stressful. Okay, let's get in. Seems safe. Oh, definitely getting better at that. Oh, actually, they feel pretty good. Obviously, there's no springs or anything on them, and they're just sat loose, but the position feels pretty good. The nose code now is the real test, isn't it? Looking pretty good. There's loads of room in there. Let's see if I can reach one to show you. Oh. All right, I'll try and lift one up. Loads of clearance, look. Well, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to this time, but progress is progress. Unfortunately, with the daily being broken, actual work to do and stuff but you know that's how it goes still going in the right direction thanks again for watching i will see you next time Yeah, beauty.